Did you see me sidestep that arrow? That's close. over here so we can grab some extra extra as they said say it from where I'm from can you tell I'm from the country <laughs> you know what as some of you guys know her grandmother or you may not her grandmother my wife lives in Georgia in southern Georgia in a city called Valdosta it is 45 minutes away from the Florida state line. Okay? You're thinking, so what's I got to do? Everybody like up here, like that's not inside the city that I live in, when, okay, this on me ain't making no sense. There is no door on the other side. Why are you beating on the one door that there is on? No doors over here. Look at that. You can walk right in, and he decides to beat on the door. Oh, wow. Anyways, you know, like, anybody that's not inside our city that lives just outside the city, you know, you always get to comment, oh, you're from the country, ain't you? I can tell by your accent that, you know, you're you're from the south. And I go to Valdosta, Georgia, to go on vacation, and everybody thinks I'm Southern. These people are straight Southern. They're the classic Southerner to where it's yes ma'am, yes sir, no sir, you know, type of thing. And when I go down there, they're like, man, we could tell you're from somewhere else. Your accent is so different. I was like, okay, explain to me, you know, how is my accent any different from yours I'm just as southern as you the house that I grew up in was literally in the woods surrounded by woods we had bears out in the yard all the time deer everything else oh you cheating bastard you know we had everything else you know deer coming out in the middle of the yard turkey you know wild critters were everywhere so tell me how I'm any you know why is my accent any different from yours and everybody has the same excuse it's because of the part of Tennessee or Virginia that you're from hold up not everybody especially here has this southern drawl like I do I'm sorry but they don't I know they like to think they're rebels or <laughs> whatever they call it nowadays no they are not southern by any means just because of their voice for the simple fact most of the guys here how do I put this they look more hood if that makes any sense to y'all they look hood they dress hood they act hood it's a lot of you know what I'm saying <laughs> I hate saying it like that, but it is. And it's not that I'm racist. I can care less about color or how you live or whatever. But it seems to be this thing of acting a certain way is what makes you cool or a thug, dare I say. Especially where I'm living at now. <clears throat> I still, because it, it's like a, it almost is the hood, you know, it's the run down part of town, there's nothing but drugs and guns and thugs and thug wannabes everywhere. I mean, you can't throw a fucking rock without hitting one on the corner. Even when I talk to the people around here, they're like, man, where are you from? I'm like, dude, I'm just, you know, go over the Virginia line, drive about 30 minutes, bam, you're in my home, you know, you're where I basically grew up. It is not that far away. Granted, I was raised in the sticks, but that doesn't mean my accent's going to be any 
weaker or stronger than yours. Where are you from? You're the out-of-towner, because there's no way you're from around here. Because if you was, you'd have the same speech as me. It wouldn't matter, you know, whether we live 30 minutes apart or not. You're going to be raised the same way I was. And that is what confuses me, is a lot of these kids were. They wouldn't, you know, there was maybe an hour from where I live, but their accent was totally, sounds like they're city slickers, you know, or as yuppies, <laughs> as the Duck Dynasty crew calls them, yuppies, nerds, whatever. I can't understand, like, how can I have that much of a different accent than somebody that, you know, didn't live that far from me at all, so... I never did understand <clears throat> how they can call my accent strong. Because when I go down there to her grannies, I can't understand them. I have to concentrate on what they're saying. Because if I don't, I completely miss the conversation. That's how strong their accent, you know, is down there. What was I doing? I need more cobble. And we're about to run out, which is not good. Uh, we need another sword. Sword. Like another sword. Um, we need some food. What else do we need? Is there anything else in here that we need? No. We'll get the stuff out of here. Put it in there. Look at the creeper. See? A little faster. See him over It's like right there. Um, we don't need the dirt no more. We don't need the stairs. We might have to accidentally grab some cobble. Back on it. I didn't want to mine anymore. I wanted to get my house done first, which we may have enough on us now to uh, finish the house. I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't know if I want to put a roof if I'm going to have machines. Because, like, I want to be able to use solar panels and generators and all that good stuff. And be, uh, I don't know if I want to go solar or not. I know solar is way cheaper because you don't have to use the uh, coal. But once I figure out whether I can use the oil that we found back there, like uh, right over there, there it is, whether I can use that oil or not, because if I can, I can just pump it. You know, that's a long way to make pop, but I can just have it pumped into my station. I just don't know if oil can be used in that way or if oil has to be like cooked or it only runs certain machines or I really don't know that's going to be something you guys are really going to have to help me with because I don't know how to use the oil I've never used oil I've always used generators engines uh, energy links I've used before I've used solar way back when I played Tech a lot, so eh, it's an iffy situation. We shall see. I really want to get more of this. I'm almost tempted to build like a small hut out of this stuff over here and let a creeper blow up in it just to see if the creeper can explode the, you know, the next step down, because that's what I consider raw form. What I'm getting is like the next step down, so it should be weaker. You know, like stone is stronger than cobblestone, because cobblestone is broken down. Stone is raw, hard form. So I think that's why it couldn't explode this, because it was in raw form. I don't know, we'll see. I'll grab some of it because I may build a little bit of the house out of this just because I love the way it looks. It's not that 
ordinary gray. It's nice and black, but it could be dark. So wherever I use this, I'm going to have to make sure I got plenty of lights. I'd hate to make a dark area, then boom, there goes my machines. That's something I did not think about. Chew on some pork chops. Boing. Is there any use for the new flowers that are on here? Do they do anything or are they just there for decoration? Because I am not a decor type of person. See, that's starting to look good. Yes, I know it's square, but for a start now, this will be good. We can always build more houses all the way around this. Whatever. I need to get sand and put glass in because the spiders can get in. I have no idea why I'm whispering. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing it. <coughs> we got plenty of sand right there. I'm thinking about going and getting some of that and making some gloss. Put some glass in the windows. Do I want to do this like I did down Making different types of windows here. For the simple fact, I don't want it to look exactly like it does downstairs. I want it to be different up here. That way, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's where the stuff is, or that's where that is, or whatever. The windows are going to be all center. Who cares? exactly like cobble except for it's more defined in the cobble part you know like the little pieces I want to see if I can cook it back down in raw form because if I can I really want to protect especially like because I'll move my chest and everything up here where the machines and stuff will be that way I can get to my stuff easy and like I said this down here will be pretty much what it is is nothing. <laughs> Actually, I'm going ahead and move my crafting table upstairs, because that's where it's going to be needed. This is where all the work's going to happen to get us started. So, we'll just put it there for now. I didn't bring any wood with me. You're a dummy. I didn't bring any torches with me. You're a dummy. I don't know if I want to leave that window like that because that looks awesome. Just having it, it looks like a big picture right there. I don't know if I want to leave that or close that part in and just be able to see out this way. I do know. Maybe I'll just do what I did and do this. Except just a smaller window. Yeah, I like that because you know it looks like a small, neat picture right there. And then as you come, it's like it zooms out. It'll work for now. I am not going to put a roof on this right now. 
because I need to get some glass, and I don't like the fact that I didn't bring a chest like a dumbass. I really need to grab some... What is it with me falling in these random holes out of the middle of nowhere? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate that. I thought I made that jump. 